Hi, I'm Dr. James Johnson of the Orange Coast Laser Vision Center. This is another one of our interviews with a patient who has undergone the trek uh, to our office here in Irvine, California for treatment for vitreous floaters. This is Carolyn. Carolyn, thank you very much for coming out to uh, visit. You're welcome. Now, uh, Carolyn, uh, I met Carolyn uh, for the first time yesterday. As I mentioned, she came down uh, from San Francisco area uh, to Southern California. Uh, she has uh, another interesting story to tell, I think. Uh, hers is interesting because not only does she have floaters, or a floater that we treated, but she had also previously had uh, probably more significant floaters uh, in her left eye and actually had a surgical vitrectomy procedure. For those of you who are not aware, the vitrectomy, uh, with that procedure you have to go into the eye with instruments and literally remove all of the vitreous gel and replace it with salt water. And it can be very successful, in her case I believe it was. But with uh, her right eye, the, the floaters weren't quite as bad and I think in doing her research, she came across my website and, and we engaged in conversation and she took that chance to come on down. Mm -hmm. And so um, I'm always honored when people are willing to travel to come and see me, uh, kind of sight unseen. And, and I guess they always have the chicken exit, they don't have to have the procedure done, but you know, here she is. <laughs> and so um, maybe we can talk a little bit at first, if you can just uh, tell those who are watching this, and this may be other doctors, eye doctors, it may be uh, patients who, or potential patients, people who have floaters as well. If you could just describe uh, some of the challenges that you had with the floaters or how they affected the quality of your life. Sure. I had a posterior vitreous detachment occur in my right eye at the beginning of this year, which would have been back about eight or nine months ago, or more, maybe 11 months ago now. And um, it uh, left a very distinct strand in the upper right quadrant of my right eye that was tethered to a clump of matter and it was um, constantly in my field of vision. It actually really hurt my eye uh, when I would go to work. I work on a computer all day and having to look at the screen all day and having this, this thing moving um, always there. Um, also, it was just always present whenever I would be looking at anything. So the tendency was for me to just sort of retreat from life because it was so, not just annoying, but uh, deeply troubling to right. me. To have and yet, you know, you're, you're uh, working in a professional environment, you work for the university up there, uh -huh. uh, and you're reading uh, important legal documents and, and right. other type of technical documents. And so it isn't as if you retreated from life. I mean, obviously you're, you're, you're uh, an intelligent, you're functional, you're right. working, you're dealing with other professionals, you're dealing with some very you know, technical information. And so, right. you know, again, like many people who have these floaters, they, it, it doesn't prevent them from being very contributing members of society. There you were. But right. yet there's this part that uh, you have to deal with this constant annoyance, uh, sometimes getting empathy and sympathy from others and sometimes not. Um, and, and again, that's both from friends, colleagues, co-workers, as well as other eye care doctors. Mm -hmm. And so um, I guess that the flutter, as you mentioned, was, was moderately worse in the left eye, and this is going back a few years anyways, Correct. and you did have the, the surgical vitrectomy procedure. And at least what I could tell from that, from that eye, looking at it uh, yesterday and today, that you know, the lens is clear, you did not develop a cataract like many people do, uh, and it looks, you know, surgically it looks like quite a success. But as you know, it's a pretty invasive and pretty involved surgery with a, a moderate amount of risk as well. Right. So um, without putting words in your mouth, I presume that you were looking for maybe a less risky uh, procedure like the laser treatment uh, that we did. Yes. Um, so anyways, uh, you came down yesterday, we did one treatment, mm -hmm. all right? You're mm -hmm. back again, uh, you probably can't tell at this resolution here, but the pupil is dilating. We're gonna go back and touch up just a little bit. And I think for this video, I'll actually uh, show the drawings that you, you drew for me, showing the before and after one treatment. Yeah. So we did one relatively light treatment. Uh -huh. uh, this morning we talked on the phone, and I said, well, how's it going? And you told me? I told you that it was 90 to 95 percent improved, and that is absolutely right. Yeah. Um, the strand is gone. I mean, it was a very uh, distinct strand. It almost looked like it had beads mm -hmm. <laughs> threaded along the, the, uh, the, the length of the strand. And that is, that is just gone. So I think that's a miracle, and I'm totally delighted. <laughs> yeah, and me too. I, this is thrilling yeah. for me as well. And I think, uh, like we were talking about earlier, uh, what makes this particularly amazing is this is a procedure that just so few people even know that it exists. Um, and when uh, people do go to their eye care provider, ophthalmologist, optometrist, asking for advice, uh, very, very rarely will that eye doctor even mention this as a possibility. Or when they do mention to it that they're thinking about going and having laser treatment done, 
I think they get uh, one of a couple reactions. One of them may be a very restrained look of disapproval, <laughs> or the other one may be an outright warning not to do it, which I think is what you had. That's right. My the the the, the eye doctor who performed the vitrectomy on my left eye, who's a very well-respected surgeon and did a good job, um, when I did bring up the idea of getting laser surgery done on the left eye, he said, you don't want to do that. You don't want to use a laser on your eye. Right. And, and, and that is, not to interrupt you, but you know, that's oh. something that's, that's very, very common. Um, and I fully respect when people are coming to me, um, not only uh, on no advice, but almost almost in spite of what their eye doctor has recommended. I mean, that really is, is a pretty bold move, and, and mm -hmm. I think just as reflective of the uh, the desperation that people have to have these things uh, taken care of. Right, and I come from a family of physicians and doctors, so when a doctor says that to me, I listen, <laughs> and I was very reluctant to go ahead with a procedure that I was not certain about. But it became increasingly clear to me, after doing more research about it, that it was worth trying. Worth yeah. trying anyway. Yeah. Yeah. And again, not everybody has as immediate success as you have. Mm -hmm. um, and some people may have to be satisfied with, with a lesser percentage of improvement, 60, 70 percent. You mm -hmm. are you know, one of the superstars. And you know, it isn't all that common that you can get that much cleared up you know, in, in like, one light treatment. Yeah. Um, and so you know, yours may be a little bit better than, than the typical experience. But what it does show is that that possibility does exist. And for something that is kind of off the books and, and, and most people aren't aware of, that's why we're doing these interviews. Uh, we, we had never met before yesterday. You are not an actress, and I, I don't I believe. Not. And, uh, and a real patient, what I call real testimonials. Yeah. And so um, if you were to then, uh, to, if you had an opportunity to say something to those people who are sitting and watching this, who are doing their research, a similar situation, maybe worse, maybe a little better, uh, what brief message would you want to tell them? Uh, to uh, to give this a try, um, that it has a very it had a very high success rate for me, and I felt very confident with Dr. Johnson's work, and uh, I think he's a great guy, and uh, don't don't have any qualms about doing this. Excellent, and you came back anyway, so that's a, yeah. good, sign. <laughs> that's a good sign. So we're going to get ready to go back and have a touch up. So um, please, there's lots of information at the website at www.gotfloaters.com. Uh, more videos like this are available both on YouTube and the website. And I will personally uh, respond to your emails or um, discuss with you on the phone your particular case to kind of get the consultation started. So thank you very much, and we look forward to presenting more of these. And thank you very much. Appreciate You're very it. welcome. Thank you. Thank you.